I was going to film this unboxing outside, but uh, that's a thing. But hey, I've just got back from the post office, so at least I'm not out in that. Yeah. So, hello YouTubers, and today I am going to be unboxing Doc 2 The Collection Season 10 Blu-ray box set. I know this is late, and probably no one cares about it by this point, but if someone does, then hooray for them, I guess. Uh, I would have unboxed this uh, sooner, but um, I've been unable to go to the uh, sorting office until today, since I've been looking after my granny this week. So, I haven't had a chance to go and collect it from the post office and go today. And here it is. Uh, is that a ding corner? No. So, let's get out of its cellophane, shall we? So to be honest, uh, I've been really looking forward to the Season 10 box set. And to be honest, uh, out of all of John Pope, to be honest, I, I would have been happy with any of John Pope's seasons. Though I particularly love Season 10 because uh, it's got some of my favourite sort of Pope's stories in. Such as uh, Planet, which I love. And, and uh, Green Death, obviously a masterful classic. And Three Doctors. Anyway, let's put this down. And we'll uh, have a look at it. So you can see that we've got a nice image of John Persuade. And we see Omega, the Supreme Dalek, and two standard uh, Daleks on planets. We've also got a Draconian and an Ogron. And I do really love this artwork. On the side, uh, same old sort of design. The blue again on this, the slightly blue tinted, looks slightly different from the other box sets. And it looks different from that side, from that side. This is uh, slightly thinner than the previous two box sets. It's the same thickness as season 12, since it's only a six disc set. You can see the stories that are included, and all the special features. And everything you can read in your own time. Isn't that uh, all lovely and great? So, let's uh, get this out of its box. So again, nice lovely artwork, and if we open it up, let's have a look at the discs first. So, disc one, three Doctors, uh, pretty much the same as the, I would say the original uh, DVD art, just there, there we go. Disc two. Carnival of Monsters. Disc 3. What Frontier in Space. There we go. Uh, not the best lighting at the minute because of the rain. Yeah. Disc 4. Planet of the Daleks. Lovely jubbly. Disc 5. <laughs> Uh, the Green Death with Doris, the best character. And Disc 6, I forgot the TARDIS. And uh, if we just take Disc 6 out, it's John Persby. Let's put that disc uh, back in. There we go. So, yeah, here we are. So, we, we've got a nice little bit of artwork from Planet of the Daleks right here. Ooh. On the planet Spyridon, not Spiridon, as for some reason they decided to call it in Asylum of the Daleks. No, 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 Spyridon. Anyway, let's um, open this up, shall we? So again, we've got. I just say the book out. We've got the artwork, really lovely artwork for the three doctors of the third doctor, Joe and Omega, with a gel guard in the background. Let's open up this cardboard, and we've got the third doctor's TARDIS console room there. And I just love here we've got the force field with the recorder in it. Nice little attention to detail there. 
Oh, I guess now it's... We've got William Hartnell on the scanner. That is a nice little touch. So, we'll take a look at the booklet, shall we? So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to go through this slowly. If anyone actually ever does pause to read this, please let me know, because... How and why? With the rest of these, I'll just quickly glance through them. That is really nice artwork, though. Really nice. I like a skim through the rest of this. Well, yeah, a lot of it is just publicity photos or screen grabs. But we do get really nice artwork in there, nonetheless. Nice close up of some Ogrons. page yeah that's pretty much an altered version of the dvd artwork that one skivens <laughs> So yeah, uh, overall I do highly recommend this set more than uh, the others, to be honest, because well, I personally I think Season 10 is an excellent season and uh, one of the best. But uh, yeah, again, I'm going to see this as ever. If you are planning on getting this or thinking about getting this, get it now, because they do sell out. These are limited editions. Now, whether they re-release them in a more standardised packaging like they do with the US release, who knows? Um, I don't know why the US releases are so different from the UK ones. I mean, obviously the content is exactly the same. But why is the packaging, you know, just standard slipcase Blu-ray packaging compared to this lovely thing? And also, why is it called, for example, this is, I believe, called the John Pertwee Years uh, Season 4 or something. Unless that's called Cold Mouse, I don't really know. But, yeah, I don't know why they differ so much. Do you, Bobby? Well, anyway, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.